Getting started with Avion Log. In this video, we'll explore adding new flights, people, aircraft, and a few useful features and settings. To add a new flight, make sure you're on the Flights page on the navigation bar and click the plus button next to the flight list title. Avion Log comes pre-loaded with a customizable flights page. The date is automatically defaulted to today. We'll enter a flight number allowing Avion Log to track routes you've already flown. If you fly with different call signs to your flight number, you can add it here, leave it blank, or disable this feature in settings. Next, we'll enter the aircraft registration, and since it's new, we'll tap on Add New Aircraft Registration in the drop-down menu. This brings you to a pop-up where you can enter details about that aircraft registration. Now search for your type. Avion Log is loaded with a huge database of aircraft, so it's likely to be there. Otherwise, you can create your own type. To keep things simple, each time a new entry is made, Avion Log guides you through the entries you may want to make, or you can skip them, all without ever leaving the flight entry page. All right, let's fly from Paris Charles de Gaulle to Barcelona. We'll enter the IATA code in the airports field. You can enter the IATA and IKO codes, or just text search for your airports. The same is true for people and aircraft. As this is the first flight you're adding, type your name as first name and last name, and click Add New Person in the drop-down menu. Toggle the switch to let the app know it's you, and enter any details you want. Now do the same for your co-pilot. We'll do a really fast flight to Barcelona. Notice how the app recognizes local and UTC times? You can enter either when you're logging. Let's say we should tag ourselves as the pilot flying. Toggle the Is Pilot Flying switch. Now you're the pilot flying, and the takeoff and landing have been credited to you. You can adjust the number of takeoffs and landings with the plus and minus buttons next to each entry. Let's do a return flight. Click on the fast forward arrow at the top of the flight entry and choose return flight. Avion Log has pre-filled your departure and destination airfields, toggled the Is Pilot Flying switch, and has assumed you're going back in the same aircraft. Easy, you're ready to log your flight back. Let's take a quick look at Avion Log's flight number recognition. We'll make a new flight and enter a previously used flight number, in this case, the first one we used, FLT-123. Notice that Avion Log recognizes the flight number and gives you the choice to quick fill your airports. We don't actually need that flight right now, so we can swipe left on the flight to delete it. Avion Log has a comprehensive range of settings and features. We'll explore just a few here that will make your logging smoother from the very start. Under Data, People, you will find yourself. Click on that entry and make yourself the default PIC or SIC. Now when you create a flight, your name is pre-filled. Under Settings, Display, and General, you can choose name formats and whether to show yourself as self in the logbook. We'll turn that on. Notice when we make a new flight, we're already there, and we now show up as self. All our previous entries have also converted to self. As we didn't enter any flight data, when we click Done, that flight is not saved. Let's look at customizing the flights page. We'll measure the great circle distance between our airports. Go to Settings, we're still on the Display page, choose Flight Editing Fields and Order, scroll down to Calculated Distance, and toggle the switch on. When we go back to a Flights page, we can see that the Calculated Distance field is now enabled, and Avion Log has calculated the distance between the airports. Let's go back to the main Settings page. 
Various settings can be accessed here, including Avion Log's Live Sync settings. Use this to synchronize your logbook across multiple devices. Backup can also be found here. Avion Log links to Box and Dropbox for free to keep your logbook backed up securely. Thanks for watching this Avion Log tutorial. Stay tuned for more by following us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Safe flying!